the old town of Revan. Gerard Southwood, an ancient and powerful fawn, unleashed his minion under the command of Father Moore, an undead priest from Revan itself. Citizens were made hostage. Some may even become part of the new. The ultimate local authority, the Baron, seems to be busy getting drunk on ale at the Silver Moon. From the elven capital Nightshade, Lady Solomon Alice sent a raven to warn him before the attack, but it was promptly ignored. Now, the fate of innocent people lies in the hands of Colin and Greifinger, Hikari Toshira, and Longo Pogo, who were just passing by the town in between one of their adventures. Who shall emerge victorious in the shadow over Revenor Temple? Fawns are mythical creatures known from their deep connection with nature. Being guardians of the forest and always a helping hand for people crossing the woodland paths, well, at least they should be. Garrosh's soul keeper is a fallen fawn, corrupted by dark magic, and a destroyer of what he promised to protect. After absorbing all the souls in Silvermoon Forest, he now targets Revenor. Father Morin was praised and loved by the citizens of Revenor in life. It is not his fault that Garrosh's soul keeper bewitched him to come back. You can see by the look in his eyes that undead Morin suffers as he ordered the demons to attack. Every human put inside the offering vessel becomes another one of those foul creatures. The people in town are pretty much like everyone else, not evil nor sane. The Barrow of Ravenor spends most of his time getting wasted and teasing Muriel Banner at the local inn. While Ricard Burton, a retired bannerman, is the soul responsible for the city's security. Needless to say, he's not doing a great job. Grave John, the grave digger, was the one who intercepted Lady Alice Solomon's raven and delivered the message. Silver Moon Inn is the place where faith made its way. Longo Proud Rock overheard Baron Clavering from Lady Alice Warren from behind the counter. He immediately told his companions, and that's where the adventure begins. <laughs> A samurai and a hobbit may not seem like the usual party group, but Colin Lightbringer, Hikari Toshida, and Longo Proud Rock are united by more than fellowship. The last great war bonded them forever, and that's not something you beat easily. Bring it on, Garrosh! All three of them are available as full body statues and busts. That's it for Extra Drop number 7, The Shadow Over Revenor. Thank you again, Crypto Studios. Looking forward for the next one. Thanks for watching and happy